What's going on, Knicks fans? And before we get into a new, yeah, there's a new Donovan Mitchell report out there. You guessed it. Hit that big red button. Subscribe to New York Knicks now for videos every single day on the latest Knicks news and rumors. We go live once a week. We like to have fun. We like to party. But we don't like to lose. And we damn sure don't like to lose to the Philadelphia 76ers. And here at Chat Sports, we have a Knicks channel. We have a Sixers channel. And they have more subs than us in the past week. I want to change that. If you love the Knicks and you hate the Sixers, hit that big red button. What up, everybody? You're watching New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Mint Mobile, a cell phone provider that's going to help you save money. They offer plans with unlimited talk and unlimited text for as low as $15 per month. All you got to do is go to mintmobile.com slash chat sports. We'll tell you more about them later on in the show. But in today's show, we're going to break down the latest Donovan Mitchell report. And then Stephen A. Smith said some out of line things about Patrick Ewing. Yeah, about our guy Pat. We're going to break that down. Then he said he would include R.J. Bear in a Donovan Mitchell trade. He's been out a while, but I don't care. We're going to talk about Stephen A. But first, let's talk about this uh, report from Spence Checkets. He's a... Uh, radio host in Utah, and he had this to say. He said, I was told by a source that the Jazz actually have a couple of offers that I was told are far are from other teams outside of the Knicks that they like an awful lot. And if that was true, that the Utah Jazz had, let's say, a trade offer from the Wizards or the Hornets or the Heat or all the teams that we've heard linked, why haven't they accepted it? Why haven't they taken that deal? If Danny Ainge has a good offer from Pat Riley in the Heat or anybody in the NBA, if Danny Ainge has an offer that he likes, why hasn't he accepted that offer? Why would he do that? It's because the Jazz clearly want what the Knicks have. The Knicks can offer expiring deals up to $19 million. They can offer you eight first-round picks. They can offer you Obi, Obi, quickly, Quentin Grimes. The Jazz want the New York Knicks trade package. It's clear as day because if they had trade offers that they liked from other teams, why wouldn't they do that? How does this story come out? Because Danny Ainge leaks it, and it puts pressure on the New York Knicks. But Leon Rose, Leon the Don, he doesn't feel pressure. He's going to stick with his offer, and he's going to make Danny Ainge move. And that's what's going to happen. Ainge will eventually fold and accept the offer from the New York Knicks. But I want you guys to predict it for me right here. Where does Donovan Mitchell play this upcoming season? I think there's really only two options, but I'll give you three options. Let me know. Type K for the Knicks, J for the Jazz, or if you think there's a mystery team out there, you can type O in the comment section for another, for an other or another team. Stephen A. Smith is back. Had some shoulders, some arm injuries, and he was out. He was on the IR for about six, seven, eight weeks, and he got all of those takes cooking up from the house, and he has some bad ones that he let fly today on first take, talking about Patrick Ewing out of the side of his mouth. It really pissed me off. We'll break that down in a second, but I want to tell you guys more about Mint Mobile today's sponsor, a cell phone provider that offers you plans of an unlimited talk, unlimited text for as low as $15 per month on the nation's largest 5G network. The best part, or my favorite part about Mint Mobile is it's easy to switch over. Get to keep your same phone. Get to keep your same phone number. You don't got to go to the store to, to change over. You can do it from the comfortability of your house. Get started today. Mintmobile.com slash chat sports. Save a buck. It'll be a good time. And they're owned by the famous actor Ryan Reynolds. Get started today. Mintmobile.com slash chat sports. Back to Stephen A. Smith. We'll just get right to the quote. Because he was talking about Donovan Mitchell being a superstar. And that's what the New York Knicks need. And they haven't had that for a while. And it was, as he would say, blasphemous what he had to say. He said, New York needs a star. We need a star. I'm not talking about a Patrick Ewing caliber star that needs somebody to throw you the ball 15 feet from the basket for a turnaround jump shot. I'm talking about the star Melo was supposed to be. And to a lesser degree, he was. But I want to focus on that first part where he says, I'm not talking about a Patrick Ewing caliber star. That's absolute bullshit. Patrick Ewing won 13 playoff series in his NBA career. Donovan Mitchell, 
He's won two. And Patrick Ewing is one of the best players, if not the best, to ever wear the blue and orange. Averaging 23 points per night, 10 rebounds, two and a half blocks, 50% from the field. The captain, the leader, the guy that bleeds blue and orange. And you're going to disrespect him like that, Stephen A? That's bullshit. That pisses me off. You're, you're at this point, Stephen A, has fallen into the Knicks for clicks thing. He used to maybe one day be a Knicks fan. But he's not anymore. He actually said a couple of months ago that the Knicks don't deserve a guy like Donovan Mitchell. So you've switched over from the Knicks don't deserve Donovan Mitchell because they're a terrible, terrible franchise. So you're shitting on the Knicks like you always do when it's easy. And now you're shitting on Patrick Ewing. That's a problem. I have a problem with it. If you want to type F Stephen A in the comment section, you can do it. But I want to ask you this question. And I already know the answer. I know what you guys are going to be typing in the comment section but I feel like we have to stand up for our guy Patrick Ewing right here. If you love the Knicks, type 33 in the comment section. I'm not even going to ask the freaking question. You see it up on screen. It's blasphemy, like that one guy would say. But let me know. Just type 33 in the comment section. This is BS. Even more BS from Stephen A. Smith. He came back from his hiatus and said, I'm going to sit my drink and look like the clown I am and fire off idiotic takes. Stephen A. Smith said he would include R.J. Barrett in a Donovan Mitchell trade, and that is why we do not want him anywhere close to this organization. He says, I don't want to give up R.J. Barrett, but if I have to give up R.J., Donovan Mitchell is 25 years old. If I got to give up R.J. Barrett to get Donovan Mitchell, yes, I would do it. And my take is, like you know if you watch the show because you're a real one, shout out to you, drop a real one in the comments, R.J. Barrett is untouchable. He just turned 22 years old. R.J. Barrett had a game last season at the age of 21 where he dropped 46 points on the Miami Heat, gave Jimmy Butler the, the business, and he did it on 13 made shots and 22 shots attempted. 46 points on 22 shots at 21 years old is absolutely ridiculous. And the progression is there. You see it every year. 14 points to 17 and a half to 20. Yes, the efficiency fell off this year compared to last year. He did start slow, though. Only, and that's what I'm going to say, only 20 points per game at the age of 21 this past season. But if you look at it from this half point way of this season and on, the final 42 games this season, R.J. Barrett played like an all-star. 23 and a half points per game, three and a half assists, almost 42% from the deck, and almost 35% from three. R.J. Barrett has everything you want in the mental makeup of wanting to be a star with the New York Knicks. He's a dog. He plays defense. He plays offense. He doesn't back down from a challenge. He's clutch. He continues to get better, and he wears that New York across his chest in pride. There is no way I am including R.J. Barrett in a Donovan Mitchell trade. I'll ask you guys, but I'm just going to continue to talk because there's no way I'm doing it. He's 22 years old. He's not even close to scratching the surface of the type of player he can be. Stephen A. Smith, Saying he would include him, that is BS. I'll ask you, though, and I know there's probably some of you guys that are going to type Y for yes. Now you can, that can be your take. We just will never agree, and we pro won't probably agree on anything except wanting to see the New York Knicks win basketball games, and that's all we should have to agree on. But let me know, would you include R.J. Barrett in a Donovan Mitchell trade? I can't believe I'm having to ask this. Thanks, Steven. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Video number two of the day which means we got to do a real one roll call because the real ones, they watched the first one and they finished it. The real ones, they watched this one and they finished it. If you made it this far in the video, shout out to you. You're a real one. Drop a real one in the comment section right now.